Ripple XRP, what will happen 19th of January? Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In this video, guys, I'll share with you an update on the Ripple and SEC lawsuit. I'll share with you what my thoughts are on this, and I'll share with you more importantly how the lawsuit will affect the price. If you are in invested in Ripple XRP or you're looking to buy XRP, make sure you watch the video till the end. There's some important dates to remember as well, and I think in the, in the very in the next couple of months we are going to find out what the answer is who wins this lawsuit and that will have a huge impact not just for xrp but the whole cryptocurrency market and how the us and sec uh, tries to put rules and regulations around crypto so this is huge guys make sure you watch the video till the end especially if you're invested in xrp so I'm going through the most popular coins like uh, VeChain, Zilliqa, Luna, Chainlink. If, if there is a coin that uh, that you want me to review, make sure you comment below the coin name. I'll review them in the next couple of weeks. So I'm doing XRP now. If there's any other coins you want me to review, make sure you comment below. Coming back to XRP, let's talk about a few important dates first. So there is a, SEC has granted a two-month extension, and they're actually saying that this extension is not going to affect the date of, of judgment, but I think that it will. So if you look at Tony Jeremy, he's a great person to follow. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit skeptical of other YouTubers, but Jeremy Hogan is an amazing guy. If you want to learn more about XRP, give him a follow. He follows a lot of the information I use in this video is from his YouTube and Twitter uh, content that he provides. So George argues that the additional time will not affect the schedule to resolve the case, but he doesn't see how that is possible. It has affected the schedule for briefing summary judgment, case summary judgment resolution, now not until March and may 2022 so that might mean i would expect from you know following the case by mid this year we should have an answer and that is going to be huge on you know like i said the effect on it it will have on the whole cryptocurrency rules and regulation from the us and uh, sec and the us so uh, there is another date so it says january the 14th but that has changed again and i'm sure there's going to be more changes that's why i think it probably be mid this year when we find out so in a letter to magistrate sarah netburn the parties asked the court to conduct an expert deposition on january 19th three business days after existing close of the expert uh, discovery so the uh, depositions for the 15 of those 16 experts have been either completed or scheduled to occur by January 14th. However, due to uh, conflicts in schedules of various experts and counsel responsible for those depositions, the parties request leave to take one final expert deposition by agreement on January 19, 22. So there's another date begin around, uh, I'd say, before end of January. This part of the case will be over and we can progress further. And then, like I said, there's lots of work going on. You know, uh, this is an important thing. So if you were in a witness box and the SEC asked if, if I thought if XRP Ledger was decentralized or not, there would be an obligation and the judge would tell me opinion is irrelevant and would not allow me to answer. Only someone with training in decentralized ledger would be allowed to give an opinion. So that is an important point uh, that Jeremy Hogan uh, mentioned. And I think um, we'll have to see how, how that plays out in, in, in court. So that's the key date. Uh, looking at the latest news, I'm going to share with you a couple of latest news that's going on uh, with the XRP lawsuit so one of the key things that's come out and it's probably not that uh, bullish for XRP uh, winning the case is that SEC have brought in the five case so the five case was between SEC and the defendant John M. Fife so this was dated in Jan January 6th of January so a couple of days and this is quite important so this is a similar case to the Ripple SEC and I'll, 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 talk, I'll, talk, I'll touch on what Jeremy and other laws, lawyers uh, think about it but if you read this, so I mean, we need to listen, you know, you can listen to me, listen to everyone else, but you need to always think about, think for yourself. Everyone has different agenda. I have a different agenda. Jeremy's got a different agenda. So it's really important to read it yourself and analyze for yourself, you know, get information, watch my videos, subscribe to the channel. But it's really important to use that information and apply it for yourself. So that's what we'll try and do in this video so five case rejected at the pleading stage the same fair notice argument asserts in this case and that the sec has moved to strike indeed the five rejected the defendant's fair notice defense at the motion so fair notice is the main thing the sec uh, the xrp uh, ripple is trying to base their defense on and uh, five rejected the defendant's defense at that motion to dismiss stage despite acknowledging the lack of binding authority controlling the term 
dealer. In Ripple's case, building authority const construing the term investment contract has existed since 1946. The how, and um, we have touched on the Howey law, thus five provides additional authority for striking Ripple's fourth affirmative defense. So that is potentially a negative for the Ripple, uh, Ripple uh, defense. So uh, that's just a quick update and that doesn't mean that Ripple's going to lose. It depends on who you want to listen to and make up your own mind. I personally think that they will win. Uh, that's my opinion because I've, I've, you know, I'm not an expert, I'm not a lawyer, but just reading about it, uh, that's the feeling that I have. You know, challenge me, comment below. I'm not, you know, trade-wise, I'll share with you exact trades where I'm buying, where I'm selling. But this video, again, I'm, I'm trying to do my best to share with you the latest on what's going on. So XRP lawsuit make or break ruling for Ripple ahead. Uh, this is quite an important thing. Uh, another important update I wanted to share with you. So why investors didn't know XRP would be treated as security. So Brad Garlinghouse, let me read that important bit from Brad Garlinghouse. The so judge asked again uh, that Mr. Tenero uh, repeated himself not, off offer, not offering any objective interpretation of Garlinghouse alleged aiding and abetting of unregistered security offering. The SEC counsel complained that Ripple wants to collapse everything into digital assets law and look at everything internally swing the door open which which would be very damaging but the but the, the point is if they keep making this argument the sec keeps making the same arguments but brad garlinghouse's actions objectively is reasonable and he can keep making the argument there's no like black and white rule where they can just challenge and say look xrp is a security that is the reason why i think xrp could get away with it and if you ask me if xrp is, is a security i would say it's not but if you ask me is it more more of a security than bitcoin and ethereum i think yes so bitcoin and ethereum is way more decentralized it's actually decentralized bitcoin is you know, completely decentralized ethereum you can you know there's vitalik butrin and you know there are you could make some different arguments but i mean i think if you compare them it is more of a security but does it fall into this law it's very difficult to in especially in the lawyer in the in the u.s law I mean, making someone guilty beyond any doubt it is quite difficult to do so these are arguments from uh jeremy hogan so again again I, I've, I've touched on it a few times make sure you follow him if you want to stay up to this with the news the sec just poured orange juice on your hands and told you it handed you an orange so he's making the argument that you can't just compare them I'm, I'm assuming in the five case the defendant tried to argue the fair notice in order to dismiss the lawsuit entirely and failed because the burden is very high on the party moving to strike a strike a pleading in the ripples case is the sec that's just trying to strike the affirmative defense of fair notice and it has a high burden to me that's the point i was trying to make to clearly prove that xrp is a security is a very very difficult thing to do simply the sec's new case is also discussing whether a guy should date a girl but the new case involves a 25 year old guy and the ripples case involves a 50 year old guy the girl hasn't changed but the criteria the guy will use to make the decisions are completely different so what's the impact on XRP? So I think the Ripple will get most of those docs, but not all on the DPP issue. I would give 9 to 10 odds, very high odds. I think the judge does not strike the fair notice defense and would give 7.5 out of 10 odds on that taking all bets now. So that's the update on the fundamental news. I wanted to focus more on the fundamentals. I'll probably make another detailed XRP price prediction video and trade strategies. But just to provide an update, uh, lots of people, again, the... the the videos even on this channel i want you know people click on my channel when there's bullish targets of one dollar five dollar ten dollars but again you've got to keep keep that in mind what i say in this video is exactly how i'm trading and i think a lot of people don't say that most people are saying you know xrp just buy and hot off since three dollars so if you watch my previous videos the last video i last i've not made an xrp video for a while now my main xrp trade was in a break above here so once we broke above that one dollar level let me go on to the daily chart i'll share with you how i'm trading and then share with you my price prediction my trade was once we broke above here one dollar i got really excited we traded it above there and you know $2 was our target. Watch the video I sold. Then we didn't really take any trades. It came here again. My trading strategy is more trend continuation. We traded here a few trades. Again, I personally didn't trade. There's lots of other coins that we're trading. Watch the top five videos coin if you haven't watched it yet. I'll share with you the best coins that we are trading in the Rockstar Trading Group. Couple of coins, even is in this dip, is you know breaking out into new all-time highs. 
the recent trade that we took in the rockstar trading group and on, on this youtube channel was a break again above one dollar one dollar has been a huge zone where people are looking to buy and sell once we broke that i think 95 cent was my entry we took our first target off here we took another half when we started breaking down those were two profits booked then once we came here there was rsi divergence i thought you know this low should hold move our stop loss up these are all documented as we trade guys these are not after the fact we had a rally i kept holding i said look as long as uh, xrp is holding one dollar maybe we can get another breakout and we finally have those breakouts that we've been waiting for you know the two dollar two two seven five dollar and breakout into new all-time highs that we've all the xrp investors have been waiting for but it didn't do that and once it broke below here i got stopped out on my trade and at the moment i'm not long xrp so what how am i looking to trade it if xrp dips to 50 cent i'm buying whether you like xrp or not or whether this case is over or not 50 cent xrp there's going to be bias for xrp from technical analysis point of view and i'm going to look to buy xrp around there if not if it starts breaking one dollar bitcoin's looking bullish i look to trade it but i personally think i wouldn't trade it there's other more bullish coins like i've said there's you know dip wise i'm happy to buy that but i'll be looking to see if there's any other coins but if you're looking to trade xrp above one dollar same as before look for a four hour pullback we in the rockstar trading group we look for pullback entries if you are interested in the rockstar trading group guys i'll leave the links below if you watch this video for this long i'm sure you're interested in trading and cryptocurrency so if you are interested i'll leave the links below there's I'll, po I'll post my trades you can see the small cap coin that we're looking to buy now it's a gaming coin that's still like look at the trend we want to be buying coins that are going up you get access to three to four live streams a week the telegram group with other members are almost 100 people and also you get strategy videos and a tutorial course that gets you started in trading so if you are interested in that i'll leave the links below for you to check out so uh, that's i'm looking to trade it above there one dollar i'm happy to look to take a trade longer term so what's happening longer term longer term is really important how this case plays out what would be a brilliant scenario and it would be similar to this is if if, if there's a bad news and the market dips bitcoin dumps and we get to buy dips you know around 50 cent or even slightly lower and then the xrp wins a lawsuit and then we start trend changing higher if xrp wins a lawsuit they you know they're already working on some really cool stuff even in this bear market they've made huge progress i think we can break out into new all-time highs and again it will depend on bitcoin if bitcoins hold 40k breaks out into new highs and xrp wins a lawsuit i think in the by mid-year it will be near previous all-time highs uh, around three dollars i'd say and then we'll see if it carries on um but if, if xrp wins the lawsuit i'm pretty confident that it will probably break out into new all-time highs you know potentially five ten dollars could be targets by year end so the if if xrp wins the lawsuit i think it could potentially get to five ten dollar level but what the clear the most important thing is bitcoin and the whole cryptocurrency market not going in a bear market if xrp wins the lawsuit bitcoin's breaking out into new highs then yes i think that is really possible if this case gets dragged on but bitcoin breaks out I still see XRP like chopping around sort of, you know, $2, $3 level. It will probably just chop around. That's my prediction and I've shared with you reasons why things change so quickly in, a, in cryptocurrency market. This video could be out of date by the time you watch it. At the moment, that's my thoughts. And if you, if you watch my videos, you've seen some of my predictions and some of the calls that we've got wrong with some of the calls that we've got right and made money like Luna, axs fdm atom there's so many coins avax check them out the other coins and xrp has been quiet hopefully we break out of this range it's just been chopping between two and one dollar uh you know as long as you know we're in this range i'm gonna be range ranging between 50 cent one dollar two dollar hopefully we get a clear breakout like we want to see and then we can look to buy more so thank you very much for watching this video guys if you have enjoyed it hit that like button subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button let me know your thoughts do you want me to make more videos updating you on this uh, ripple xrp case again like i've said it's not just cryptocurrency that will be affected this is gonna have a huge impact on the whole cryptocurrency and you know some people saying potentially ethereum as well so let me know your thoughts guys thank you very much for watching hit that like button it really helps us out and we're almost at 25k so thank you very much for the support so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much